Problem number one starts out with a near and save formation of blacks, and white makes a, a 3 4 here instead of making it just all 4 4s. Uh, so the question for black is in this opening, where should black play? A uh, good fundamental for opening theory is to play the uneven corners first, like the 3-4s the three instead of the 3-3s three and the 4-4s. Four um, and in this case, since black has played a bunch of high stones, black should also play high over here to try and work with the rest of the influence that he has. If black plays low, then white is probably going to pincer him. And if this Joseki comes about, then white will make an extension over here. When white makes this extension, this is limiting the influence of this in this of this stone in this direction. Black doesn't want to force white to make extensions like this and limit the potential of this stone. Um, if instead of this extension, white decides to make a low extension, then black will probably try to sell his stones really quickly. And again, white is going to get this extension, which is limiting the influence of this stone in this direction. Black should not want to do this. Problem number five starts where number one left off, uh, with black making the high approach. And white is going to attach on the other side. Black will hane, white will pull back. We've all seen this, Joseki. And uh, the question for black is now where should black play? Uh, one thing to note in this formation is that there are two key points for black to get. Black wants to make this extension here as well as get this extension over here for Asana and say. Um, so the real question for black is which one does he want? Uh, and the correct answer is for black to take this one. Uh, since black took this key point, then white is going to come over here and split to prevent black from getting the second big point. But then black can get this nice approach move, and now black has an ideal formation over here. Black needn't fear white approaching over here. Black has plenty of things that he can do about this. And that's actually where problem number nine starts. What should black do in response to white's checking extension? Black should just ignore it. Black should play over here and finish the, the Sonron side to get the next big move. Now white can throw in and threaten to attack these a little bit, but then black is just going to cover on top and now white needs to come back and connect. And now black has a nice outside facing wall to work with the Sonrense, this is very very good for black. If instead of taking the Sonrense, black makes the iron pillar to prevent white's invasion, then white is going to split black again, similar to what we saw before. Except now white got everything, white was able to split and get a nice checking extension from his stone. Alright, so going back to this, uh, we mentioned that there was two key points. If black decides to take this one instead of making the extension, what should white do? White should take the other key point himself. They're both key points, uh, if your opponent takes one, you need to take the other. Uh, so now in order to prevent these from dying, black will make uh, a, a two-spaced extension here. And then white will armpit hit it from below taking some profit at the top, reducing the Sonrense influence at the top as well, and these stones are under attack. Now if white, instead of making this extension, just plays the next big move over here, then black is going to get the extension, and now black got both of the good moves. Problem number 17 starts out a little bit differently. Uh, white plays over here, black plays here, and then white makes the 3-4 facing black, which allows black to get the, the high approach facing his stones, which is really, really good for black. So similar to before, white attaches underneath, and black connects, white settles, and instead of making the extension here, black makes the sun run save. White now plays the other key point that we mentioned, and then black makes a checking extension. White jumps, black jumps to save these stones, and white jumps again. So black's group of stones over here seem to be in trouble. Where should black play to get a little bit more strength and even come back to attack these white stones? Black should shoulder hit this stone. Uh, white will probably respond by playing here, and then black will extend. White can jump here because black can't push through and cut. Um, and then after that, black can come back and cap these the stick of stones. So does white want to push through here, giving black all this outside influence? Uh, potentially even here while white tries to run to this stone? 
Or does white want to try to run into black's strong Sanrense formation over here? If instead of uh, shoulder hitting this, if black just takes a big key point up on top, the white is going to shrink this down to- Now black is just a stick and is going to struggle really hard to make eyes over here, if not outright die. 